All right, guys, welcome back to some more System Shock. Now we are going... Oh, not to this room. Why am I in this room? Okay. Um, I, I'm not going the correct way. Uh, so there's a mini-map in the top right corner. Uh, so if you kind of, you know, know how to read it. It's, it's kind of complicated, so most of the time I kind of just use my memory. Uh, this is the room I want to actually go into. Yeah, right here. So we have um, chemicals. Each deck has a chemical storeroom where you can find the resources you need to research the artifacts you'll find around the ship. Don't try to carry around all the chemicals at once. It's impractical and unnecessary. Your research software will tell you what chemicals it needs and when. So, um, guns? This is where you get your first pistol. Uh, I'm not using pistols. Uh, I'm not getting, getting weapons at all. The advantage to this is I don't have to worry about uh, uh, maintenance or repairing or any any weapon upgrades or anything like that. Just strength for melee. Uh, the disadvantage is I have I, th this ammo I'm picking up is fucking useless to me. I'm just carrying it around to sell later. So hey, what's up, Roy? Oh wow. Well, I have one HP. I'll use one of my medical hypos. Combat is a little bit difficult, and I w did not have my agility on, so let me go set that up. There we go. I love going fast. I, I think I've mentioned this several times. And if I hold spacebar, I can kind of, like, grapple onto ledges and, and crap like that. Alright, nothing I want here. Okay, so this place is a bit of a problem. I'm going to save it quickly just to... This is Xerxes. Remember, the unauthorized usage of firearms aboard the Von Krohn is a class 3 infraction. So, uh, here's the problem. Turrets kick my ass. Okay? Uh, yeah, I... There's not much I can do with respect to this, but what I can do... Uh, I can't kill them. Uh, well, I can, but it'll be very difficult. What I can do is I can use my speed booster. And I can, whoop, oh. You kind of go all over the place. You go like a million miles per hour. But I can kind of just run the hell away from them. So I, I've charged up the battery I had in my inventory, and I'm just going to run the hell over here. And that's it. We're done. And I love going fast. This is this is too fast, though. Because you actually take damage when you, like, run into things. It's, it's ridiculous. Uh, but... We're okay, so now we have our battery charged. We've explored pretty much everywhere on this deck that is worth exploring. So we're gonna continue on our merry way over here. And it's this is really cool because it's like, it's honestly, it's the greatest uh, kind of RPG survival game I've ever played in my entire life and I love it. Well done, I'm uploading some cybernetic modules. Find an upgrade unit as soon as you can. Okay, I have uh, 18. I think that's enough for what I want. Uh, and so I'm gonna actually head back here, where you saw me. I didn't show you these terminals yet, but I will definitely show you. So this one I can upgrade a bunch of stats. So strength is for melee and, and inventory space, endurance is for health, size for psi abilities, which is good for me, but I'm not gonna be getting it because I need to get some required skills first. Agility is for running and, uh, and fall damage and things like that and cybernetic uh, affinity, which is something I'm not going to upgrade anymore beyond what I have, is for uh, hacking. Uh, and tech here is, uh, I can get hack, hacking, repairing, which I can repair things like vending machines and weapons and things like that. Won't be getting any of that. Modify, you can upgrade weapons. I have no need for that because I'm a melee guy. Uh, maintenance is for uh, upgrading the durability. Uh, melee weapons don't have durability, you just hit people with them. And research is something I will get later, but uh, I, I'm not too concerned. I'll explain that a little bit later. Weapons, not getting any of this, fuck that. Uh, well, except for an exotic, which you don't actually see there. Uh, these are all my psi abilities, and so it tells you kind of what, what goes on. So uh, you have to basically upgrade into the, fir into the, uh, the, the tiers. So I have tier two already, but I, ha I would have to uh, spend uh, resources into this, which I'm, I'm not prepared to do. Um, there's a whole bunch of other things like toxins, and, and it's, it's, it's kind of interesting, but the, the ones I have here is I can pull objects towards me, and uh, there's like way better things I can invest into, you know? So, like what, oh, these cost five. So I'm, I'm not getting that, don't worry. Uh, and there's like uh, alarms and pr like these ones I already have. I have all the good ones in this tier actually. Uh, the other ones are just not too useful. 
in my opinion. Um, so what we're actually going to be doing is getting our first point into hack. And I only have one. I only have one point left. But this one point, uh, I, I need to get level two hack as early as possible because um, these crates are going unlooted and it's making me cry on the inside. So the hacking mini game, I can hack this now. I can't hack the crates because I don't have level two hack. It basically works like this. Um, actually, something I should do is to to make the hacks easier. I have the cybernetic infinity for like affinity. Um, my size getting low, but that's okay. Um, this this makes my it, this makes it twenty percent less less difficult, which is good for me. So now I can do this much easier. And so all I have to do is get three. Th I have to keep doing blocks. And I have to get three in a row, and I and I win. So now the security is offline. Turns won't work. Uh, the um, where am I trying to go? Oh yeah, right in here. Uh, the turrets won't work. The cameras won't work. Uh, and so that lets me get past security areas, which is kind of which is convenient. So the reason I didn't come down here is because of this guy. So I can I can kill the turret. However, if I get that last blow in, it will explode. So I run away, kind of use this thing, and now blow it up. And now I can safely loot everything. The turret will not bother me anymore. Cameras will not bother me anymore. It's it's pretty great. Now there is some items up here. Um, however, you're usually you're, you're supposed to use connect redirection on this. Um, I can't really do that, so I'm not going to bother with it. It's it's just the skill isn't worth it. The cyber modules are one of the most important thing, most valuable things in this game. And it's just like you don't you don't want to squander them, you know. So we're going to actually now go into the next area like uh, I I initially intended. So hop right in here. to get into med. Now find Grassy and get the key card to the crew sector. He's the one who monitored your cryo sleep, so he might be interested in joining you if he hasn't been butchered yet. So uh, here's another mechanic to this game. There's surgical bays and when they have this little activator thing, uh, I can use them as much as I want. They cost nanites, but it heals me back to full. I will be fully taking advantage of that because uh, it's a Nice thing to have. I won't die as often. It's pref it's preferable to using these things, to be honest. All right. You might witness some strange phenomena. Your R-grade cyber rig has an experimental perception enhancement that can theoretically detect residual psychic emanations. These emanations traditionally come from the recently dead. Literature might call them ghosts. I call them self-hypnotic defects in the R-grade unit. Don't let it distract you from the job at hand. Uh oh. Oh. No, the monkey wants me. The, the hitboxes are so small. Alright. There's a camera right here. There you go. There's another monkey somewhere else that wants me. Probably he does. You want me, monkey? Come get me. I've trained all my life. Oh, fuck! No! They work as teams, I swear! I hate them. The monkeys are the worst thing in this game. And so, I can't really survive that many hits. It's just, as you have noticed, it's these fucking monkeys, I swear. I'm coming for you, monkey. He wasn't even looking at me and he hit me. Alright. Where's the- Oh shit! I hate these monkeys. Look at them! They're fucking freaky! Alright, anyways, uh, so we'll, uh, this room has a lot of radiation. We will not go into it quite yet, because there's no this point. This is Xerxes. Why do you persist in your loneliness? So we made our first guys with actual weapons. Uh, the weapons they drop are automatically jammed, so I wouldn't even use them anyways, to begin with. Uh, so we're, we need to loot here. And we also get our first bit of armor, and I hear a monkey. I'll be ready for him. You hear them around, and it's like, it's like, the, the least, like, I swear to god, I'm gonna have like a, um, 
I'm gonna like break down whenever I like visit the zoo. I'm gonna like, oh shit, monkeys. I'm gonna be like so afraid of them. Because they, they are the scariest thing. They really are. Where'd everybody go? Is this some kind of joke? Hello? Oh yeah, I forgot to show you. I can see the chemical manifests uh, from, pla from the places I need to do research from, so. Uh, but I'm not doing research right now, so it's okay. Whose idea was it to bring 150 chimpanzees on board anyway? The interests of science? What about the interests of hygiene? Does anybody have any idea how much crap 150 lab monkeys make in a day? The poor chimps. They come on board for the most historic mission of all time. And they end up being chopped into little pieces in the name of progress. So I'm gonna just, uh, Iron Man this, uh, this radiation room, cause, uh, fuck it. Basically, I'm going in and out. And I take radiation damage, as you can see, I'm radiated by the bottom left, and I just top out. And I remove it with a... Oh, this is a con contamination shower, so if I just go in and out, I'm okay. And that's it. And we also get a monkey brain out of this. Mm, monkey brains. Okay, uh, so we're done with this area. So I think the next area we're gonna go to is uh, to the side here. So we go to the security control station. We hack, start the hack. So it's random, so I may not actually get a successful one. I didn't actually use my cybernetic af affinity, so let me do that. Because it's actually worthwhile to do it. It's, it's half the reason I brought it with me, it's, it's just nice. So I have to recast Security this stuff once in a while. You notice the, speed, the increase in speed? So this means this turret will not target me. What's up, turret? I hate you. So this is the best way of me dealing with turrets, is to lay them down to critical health, run away like an ass, and... And see if they have loot. No loot for me. It is a bit of a difficult game, and I think that like that that's one of the the greatest faults of it is it, it's hard to get into. But if you force yourself, good work. Here are some more cyber modules. Spend them wisely. They're not easy to locate. Uh, I could have used that window there that you saw earlier, but whatever. Medical tells me they've replicated. Medical tells me they've replicated a whole bunch of rad hypos. I'm gonna pick those up and distribute them to the engineering staff unless anyone gets a better idea. Watts also asked me to check on the replicator in the crew lounge. He says it's a hacker's paradise. Oh, and so since since uh since security's offline, not even a problem. Patient Watson died at 0240 of non-specific causes. Despite zero respiratory and brain function, the body is still displaying autonomous motor function, as does the parasite. At 0847, the patient even spoke to one of the nurses. Autopsy is set for 1630, and then we'll see what makes this Lazarus tick. All right. Well, let's hop down here and go through the window. So uh, we almost have everything that we want. Uh, let's let's go get the. Uh, uh, there's another turret, I think, uh, a little bit to the side here. You guys feel the need for speed? Oh shit! Intruder entering medical center A. Intruder, many demands to know your intentions. Are you aligned with her? Do you not know of her intentions, of her history? She once tried to destroy your species, and now you do her bidding. Intruder entering medical sector A. So, side damage will increase the damage of this, but it's just not important right now because I'm melaying things most of the time anyways. Fucking monkeys! Get over here. I hate monkeys. You have no idea. Alright. Anything good in here? No. I uh, might as well just open everything. So this is an example of a surgical bay with no... It's, it's badly damaged, apparently. 
Um, it has no uh, ability for me to uh, heal from it. This one I can, so I might as well heal from this one. They're being rather generous with that. And another Black Ops sign fire, just in case you want to like dual wield them or be badass somehow. I don't know. I can't raise anybody down in engineering. With the lifts out, I'll need to get down there through the emergency conduit in the Psy Annex. I think the access code is in Watts' lab. All right. Uh, oh, we didn't we didn't go over here, so we'll go over here. A little bit of a, a top area, and we'll go grab that. There's like a bunch of shields here and a dead monkey. Just what I like to see. This, this game is now all about the monkeys. Angela, while it may appear that the lab monkeys are communicating with each other, I assure you it's quite impossible. You claim that one monkey signed the passcode for a supply closet to another, and the latter proceeded to open it. As I'm sure you know, there have literally been tens of thousands of studies of primate intelligence, and there is no evidence of behavior even remotely that sophisticated. So either you've single-handedly trumped the entire field of animal behaviorists, or you're badly in need of a vacation. Good. You've made it into the crew sector. Now find Dr. Watts' room. We're gonna actually uh, take a little bit of it. Uh, we're gonna backtrack just slightly uh, back to here. Because I actually have a... Well... Yes, actually we will. Because uh, I have now a fair number of... Uh, cyber, uh, cybernetic modules, so I just hop into here, hop on down, and my I can get level 2 hack, which means now I am fully capable of hacking all those crates that you saw that me miss. So um, to help with that, uh, we will just put on cybernetic affinity, and now we play the hacking game. Might as well just loot everything. So, uh, as I said, agility does not carry on from place to place, so when you see that I'm not, I don't have it on, because I, I, I feel it's a waste, I'm not... Oh, it may not be a waste. Oh shit, he's got a gun. Yeah, they respawn. Luckily I'm not wasting ammo on these guys. I'm just kind of just looting all the materials I, I need. Okay, I go through here. Yep. Oops. Yeah, no, I'm gonna hit it. I'm bad. See, look, ton of nanites. Hacking is like one of the best abilities in this game. I think I got them all. I don't really, I'm just trying to remember. I don't think there's any more places to hack here. There's also uh, another vending machine here. And a log I missed. These missions should have been scrapped before it left Earth. We've been unable to contain the reactant coolant leaks on deck one. I've put an order requiring hazard suits down there. I know you think this would cause a panic, but it's better than giving everybody radiation sickness, don't you think? Uh, there's no hacking thing there. Okay. I have to use that that brain muscle of mine to remember all the places I've actually been to. Oh, running away. <laughs> I don't have to fight everybody. Okay, let's get some agility out. Ah, uh, and so now we can actually go to that, um, oh. I hate monkeys. Who said all these lab monkeys for you? Uh. Yeah, I probably should use that cybernetic affinity, but I did not need it. Power drained? Oh, it's complaining that my brawn boost is out, so now I don't do uh, any bonus damage to uh, whatever it is. All right, so there's radiation here, so I'm just gonna hop in. Hack this one real quick. Could be the fastest hack you've ever seen. I think I got everyone. Oh, I got a plant too. And I used my radiation hypo as soon as I came out. I have hotkeys for all this shit, so. Uh, and I'm, I'm using them, so. Uh, I did not miss one over here. I can now use my Psy hypos. And I can get my Psy back. Although, it just occurred to me I saw some wine earlier, so I could probably could just, like, 
drunk some wine. You know, that's the best time to drink is when I don't have any sigh left. And a pistol here. Nice. Okay, well, won't be using that, so just get rid of it. The ammo is useful, so I can unload it. Uh oh, and I just died. Yeah, the ladders are a bit finicky. Uh, I won't lie. This wouldn't be. The, this is not the first time I've died from from ladders. Ladders are my greatest nemesis. Okay, so I think I got everything there. So let's go now to the crew quarters. So we could just kind of explore, look at art. Holy shit! It's like high graphics static, but not high graphics art. And we can look out into space and see awesome space. So we can read magazines, I guess. Oh, no real point. Let me just get rid of that shit. Since returning from the surface of Tau Ceti V, the patient has experienced numerous novel phenomena, evidenced by inflammatory nodular growth and the presence of a large worm-like parasite. This morning, the parasite penetrated the subject's chest from the inside and attached one end of itself to the subject's forehead. If I remove it, it could kill the kid. If I leave it... Please make your selection. Final diagnosis beats the hell out of me. I'd love to refer this to Midorsky at CDC, but unfortunately he's 67 trillion miles away. And the second one? We have picked up a transmission from the surface of Tau Ceti V. I've been in negotiation with Captain Diego of the Rickenbacker. After some coercion, he's agreed to go planetside as a joint venture. Imagine, this historic mission might even become more historic. First contact. And who is there to get exclusive rights to all media, patents, and land grants? Try Optimum. Miri, I told you this would be worth it. Okay, well, nothing else over here. So now we have our uh, a little side area here. We can do some more upgrades. Uh, and there's also like a little station here with another log. Security system. God damn Bronson and her stupid procedures. She's changed the code on the med side to sub-armory again. Now I've got to head back up to deck four to find out what it is. Somebody's gonna frag her, but good someday. No hacking. This one bugged me, but actually that one actually tells you it's on deck four, so I have to wait until deck four in order to know what the password to that door is. So annoying. Mmm, orange juice. So uh, over here I can go get more stats if I so choose to. I don't have any cybernetic modules, so I'd probably get Psy next. Um, that's my that's my guess of what I'll get. Hi there. Some more. Please make your selection store things and some tech and some weapons so you can do all your upgrades from here now if you want and we oh we get our first uh, os upgrade unit and so for this uh so we basically get a whole bunch of abilities i'm just gonna like hover over each one um some of them a lot of them are not very useful because like things like uh eight cyber module upgrades like that's nothing like you get so many later eight is not going to make the difference uh but you get like sharpshooter like all this all this fun stuff so, so things like uh, this is a good one for Psy, uh, but I don't know if I'll be getting that. So for me, I'm going to be doing lethal. So I do now do 35% extra uh, damage with my uh, malaise, which is which is extremely good for me. Security forces have been alerted to your presence, intruder. The glory of the many demands your capture or destruction. So that is the people I've been fighting this whole time. They are called the many. And they are many, obviously. Now they described like like a worm sort of a thing. Are we joined? We are, we are, we are, we are. These guys are they're very creepy. Alright. Oh, holy shit! He did like this double attack, and I'm like, I wasn't ready. Yeah, it can, it can sometimes be pretty ridiculous, like I'm just like, I, I try my best, uh, especially at the beginning here, it's a big problem. Uh, you know, if you have weapons, then obviously you're going to have a much easier time. I I actually recommend if you do a build similar to this, do like energy weapons, it's actually probably a good idea so you can face bots, because these are, holy shit, don't, oh my god, he gets that hidden anyways, alright, well, I'm just going to eat a bunch of food since my inventory is full of this stuff anyways. You know, it, it happens, you know, you can't really worry yourself with it. 
damn it. Uh, just so I know, uh, I can actually look at what where the security station is, and it's like all the way back to hell over here, so I have to be very careful. So if a, if a camera spots you, just kind of wait a couple of seconds and then try it again. And now I can kill it. Uh oh. Well, I have all day. Whatever, I'll just hit him. Apparently he's really good at, uh... He's like stuck on there. Fuck. Okay, fine, I'll just go over here. I'm, I'm looting stuff. <laughs> I don't really know what to do in his case. If I can look at some more art. You do not hide forever. They don't really like being close to me, so they try and back up every time I get close, so... You know, I use that to my advantage. Okay, so there's a weapon over here. Oh, good, careful, okay. And... It's a pistol with a modification level one, so you get it's a it's a good pistol. It really is. This early on, it's fucking great. Um, of course, I'm not taking it with me. So, and it's also worms, a pile of disgusting worms. So if you step in this, uh, you'll have to use a toxin hypo because it's it's toxic worms. They're the worst kind of worms. All right. Well, we have a bit more health, so let's go use that. Really, inventory space is not going to be a problem for me in the slightest. It's actually going to be a lot of fun. Uh, to just carry around whatever I, I please. Alright, so let's get some cybernetic affinity going. Uh, so... It's the whole reason I have this thing, is to make hacks easier. Now, these red slots, I didn't me I failed to mention what they do. I can, I can select them and they might, they, they have a chance of failing, so... Um, it's not something you particularly want to do. Uh, so like, I could try it, but if I fail, then the, the entire thing blows up, so I don't really deem it as worthwhile. You could do like, uh, save abuse. Like, in this case, I could save abuse, but I won't be doing that for this run. I feel that I should be doing this as legitimately as possible. This, this is no risk, but it's costing me five nanites every time I want to redo it. I can't, I can't believe it. I'm, I'm like, I must be the most unluckiest person. There we go. Oh, just an anti-radiation hypo. Thank you very much. Good game. Alright, well, let's just go hack this last thing. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Okay, so we have a camera over here. And we'll just kill it. And we get another suit of combat armor, if, in case you didn't get the last one in a health pack, so it's not a bad, bad reward. So, uh, that's all the time we have for today. We'll explore the bottom here next time, so I'll see you later. Bye!